Welcome to Grand Junction, a town that began with aging hippies, entrepreneurs, artists, winos, all in search of one common thing, to follow their dreams. Mild sunny days make it the perfect environment for a beaucoup amount of outdoor adventure. We're gonna go explore some mountain biking, road biking, and even electric biking. Longtime local mountain bike tour guide and pioneer of the Western Slope mountain biking movement, Sarah's company, Desert Rat Tours, has permits from Palisades to Moab, specializing in personalized trips based off the customer's riding expectation and experience. The company can even shuttle you to the top of the ribbon trail for an epic long downhill. As I was gearing up, I was thinking how amazingly close all these trails are from the downtown area of Grand Junction. As we began our journey on the Ribbon Trail, I stopped for a moment to take in the impressive multicolored rock formations before holding my breath to make it up to that first technical climb. Only then to be rewarded by the unique feature to the Grand Junction Trail system, a massive slab of slick sandstone. The majority of the trail is downhill, so most people prefer to take a shuttle to the top. The best technique I can give you when dropping or climbing rock formations is to get your bike to take the impact. Relax. Trust that this expensive piece of metal between your legs will in fact keep you in control. Going with a guide, of course, can teach you how to ride rock like water through a river. Getting into that flow certainly takes some skill. But once you get that feeling of not freaking out every time you're dropping, there's always a chance for a celebration. Oh, sweet. As I said my goodbyes to Sarah and the epic mountain biking trails, I set my sights high onto the long, windy road up to the top of the Grand Mesa. Did you know that dinosaurs at one time ruled this area? So as I biked past Dinosaur Hill, I could only imagine large prehistoric creatures watching and wondering if I would be their next feast. Oh, how the mind wanders, staring at these spectacular rock spires and natural monoliths. As I stared at a feature known as the balancing rock, one might wonder again, how does it stand the test of time without falling off? I thought about breaking that curse and collecting some dirt, but the reality is I want to return again and again to this area. So let's take off for our next adventure in the beautiful town of Palisade. My first stop was Rapid Creek Cycles and Sports to meet Rondo, a serial entrepreneur and pioneer in the industry. His bike shop in Palisade has all types of rentals, maps of the area, and he also offers guided trips. As co-owner of the first bike shop in Fruta, he understands the value of mountain biking tourism and sees Palisade as the next adventure destination. A big component to this equation is the volunteer organization COP MOBA, basically dedicated to building and maintaining of the single track biking trails in western Colorado. Rondo shared with me his vision for a new mountain biking trail system beginning with a high alpine trail called the Palisade Plunge, scheduled to open within the next few years. And as mountain biking continues to grow, there's of course another gem in this area not to be forgotten winemaking. I decided to give my legs a rest and for the first time ever jump on an electric bike to tour the wineries. Naomi shared her favorite wines and the best food pairing to stimulate your palate. Grand River has been known to win many awards but one very impressive feat was beating out Opus One with their Meritage Red. You can try a variety of wines including lavender wines and ports but it's more fun to meet the owner and share in a few laughs. Lucky for me, I was just in time for spring barrel tasting. So what does that mean, you ask? That is when you siphon wine right out of the barrel. Oh, the sweet fruits taste a little sweeter knowing that you stole a taste before the entire fermentation process had been completed. Our next stop was Plum Creek, where big chickens greet you outside the tasting room. No, I had not tasted too many barrels, but these works of art are made of an eclectic mix of recycled metals. At this point, there was very few words to describe the wine, 
but know that Colorado has surpassed its infancy and is in full force to be considered for wine snobs around the world. Mmm, yum. Yummy, very good. It's true, I was starting to feel a little buzzed as we moved on to Talon, where they like to pair each of their wines with a different flavor of fudge. Who could resist? But beware, the chocolate high will keep you coming back for more. Yes, Palisade has a high concentration of wineries, and you can bike to most of them in one day. However, my personal joy is just to buy a bottle and enjoy it when you get back home. Okay, what if you're not a wine drinker? Don't fret. There are other options, including the Palisade Distillery and the brewery right next to each other. Grand Junction in the Palisades area is filled with all these amazing adventure activities. From mountain biking to rock climbing to stand up paddle boarding, they pretty much have everything. And electric mountain bikes to get you to the wineries faster. At the end of the day, it's always fun to come, relax, and enjoy your favorite libation, the Dirty Hippie. It's the beer that makes you smile. 